I'm worried that I don't have control Don't worry, baby, don't worry Go and get some sleep Why you always in a hurry? So for the chia jam, you want to get any frozen berries of your choice. I used strawberries and blueberries and then add in about a tablespoon of water and let it boil for a little bit until the berries are completely mushy. And then once it's boiling like this, you want to add in a tablespoon of chia seeds and mix it around and let it thicken. I really think the chia jam is good with anything like toasts and yogurt and things like that, but I just had it with my Dave's Killer Bread cinnamon raisin bagel best bagel with my whipped cream cheese and chia jam and some fruit on the side okay so for drink of the day guess what i'm having ice matcha latte i wanted to introduce you guys to my favorite matcha it's the teamy matcha matcha has caffeine but it's better than coffee because coffee gives you that like instant energy and then it just crashes but matcha just gives you energy like throughout the day if that makes sense i think the teeny ones are so cool because they come in four different flavors original mango blueberry and is it cacao i didn't even know that matcha came in different flavors if you end up getting this get the mango one you will not regret it. It's my favorite one. So yeah, thank you to Teamy for partnering with me on this video. If you guys want to purchase anything from Teamy, be sure to use my code RK25 to get 25% off. And a few of you guys have asked me how I make my matcha latte, so I will show you right now. I got my matcha kit from Amazon. I'll link it below if you guys are interested. But I know that Teamy also has the exact same thing, so if you want to get it from that, so first, I get a little bit of hot water. I would say this is about three tablespoons. The strainer is totally optional, but I think I get about a teaspoon of matcha and then whisk it until there are no more clumps left. And then get some ice because I'm making ice matcha latte, duh. And then pour the matcha and water mixture into the ice along with your almond milk. And I don't put in sweetener or anything because I just like the plain flavor of matcha. But if you want, you could put in honey or or syrup or something. I'm gonna eat my breakfast with my matcha latte. <laughs> For lunch, I made some chicken. I seasoned it with this chicken seasoning that I got. I don't even know. But I also put smoked paprika. And then while the chicken was cooking, I chopped up some zucchini, onions, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli. I seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and basil. And of course, I had a sweet potato on the side. Are we surprised? That's a nice for a snack, I had one of my favorite snacks, which is rice cake with peanut butter and banana and cinnamon and hemp seeds. I usually also like putting cacao nibs on this, but we're out, so. This combo is so good. For dinner, I made some pasta and I like putting veggies in my pasta for, you know, extra veggies. I don't know. So I cooked some zucchini, bell peppers, frozen veggies, broccoli, and all that stuff. And then I cooked my edamame pasta, and then I drained it, and I mixed in the veggies and the pasta with this pesto. And I normally don't have pesto, but it was really good. And I also topped it with tomatoes. I don't know if that's weird, but yeah. So for breakfast, I made my typical yogurt bowl. With my yogurt, I mixed in chia seeds and almond milk to make it into like a chia pudding kind of thing. Then I used my Purely Elizabeth granola and my homemade granola. I showed the granola recipe in my last What I Eat in a Day. And then I topped it with some mangoes, blueberries, dragon fruit, and cinnamon. I haven't been craving coffee lately. I don't know why. Oh, sh I just spilled some on the floor. <laughs> For lunch, I wanted a big plate of salad, so I just chopped up some mushrooms, tomatoes, cucumbers, and bell peppers. Of course, I dropped it, and then I just put all of those veggies on top of my spring mix, and I also got some rotisserie chicken. I feel like someone's gonna say something about the way I um, tear my chicken apart, but I swear I have clean hands. Anyway, and I topped it with tahini. Lately, I've been liking tahini on top of my salad because it just adds like a nutty flavor. As a snack, 
I'm eating peanut butter chocolate chip flour bar. And this is the best flavor ever, period. Oh, this is good. Flour bars taste really good if you microwave it for a few seconds so it's like nice and warm. But I'm a little lazy right now, so. Ah, I bit my tongue again. Anyways, see you later. Alligator. And then for dinner, my family had burgers and fries. You guys might have seen this in my night routine. I like to put ketchup, tomatoes, cucumbers, grilled onions, and lettuce in my burgers. Let me know what you like. My friend Carly only likes ketchup in her burger, and that's disgusting. So if you're like that, we can't be friends. <gasps> That's sexy. This is the perfect point. Like, this side is a little naked, but this side. I look scary because I have a flash right here. And you also look scary because you have freaking corn in your teeth. But I just ate my corn and my burger and my fries. And now I'm eating sweet potatoes because y'all know I love sweet potatoes and I cannot resist. This is literally one of my go-to breakfasts, but I had an almond butter and banana toast with chia seeds and cinnamon. If you have not tried this combo out, you're literally living under a rock. I'm sorry. For a snack, I'm eating this whole tub of watermelon because watermelon is my favorite fruit, if you didn't know. And I was still pretty hungry, so then for a snack, I had cereal with banana and almond milk. I usually don't have cereal, but this slapped. <laughs> Lauren and I got acai. Yes. It's very good. Oh. <laughs> For dinner, I ate some tacos that my mom made with sparkling water. This one's my favorite one. For breakfast, I wanted an almond butter and banana toast, but we were out of bananas, so I tried putting blueberries, cinnamon, and chia seeds instead, and it actually turned out so good. I think I might try it more, so that was breakfast i went to this korean market and got some duck which is like korean rice cake kind of thing and i'm obsessed with these i'm having ice matcha latte once again are we surprised probably not but i'm literally obsessed with it also i have this whole thing of duck and i pretty much finished the whole thing this is bad like i can't stop eating this for a snack, I'm having a bunch of fruit. I have some watermelon, cherries, and peach, and these peaches are so sweet. And I love summer because summer's like the best season for fruits. For dinner, my mom made jungkook which is this Korean soybean soup thing. But basically, she made the broth with anchovy and kelp, and then drained it, obviously, and then chopped up some onions, tofu. Look how fast she chops her food. I could never. And then she put lots of kimchi in the broth along with fermented soybean paste thing. She also put in some garlic and jalapeno for the extra spice, you know. And just pretty much boil it until everything's cooked. And she made this bean sprout side dish thing. Basically, she cooked these bean sprouts in boiling hot water and added salt, sesame oil, carrots, and sesame seeds. And now for keramari, which is like Korean egg rolls, I think. You basically just chop up whatever veggies. I usually put in onions, carrots, and green onions. Crack in three eggs, add a little bit of salt and pepper for flavor, and add all the veggies and almond milk. You could also use regular milk. I just freaking hate milk. Anyway, and then you want to add a very, very, very thin layer. This will not work if it's a thick layer because it won't cook all the way. Anyway, but once it's like kind of cooked but not all the way cooked, you want to start rolling it, slide it over, add a little bit of um, egg each time until it's like a thick roll, if that makes sense. I suck at explaining, I'm sorry, but you cut it up like that and there you go. So this is my dinner. Here I have my soybean soup. I don't know what it's called actually. And then purple rice, seaweed. I think this is squid. And then I have egg rolls and bean sprouts. 
I lost some footage here, but basically I mixed in my yogurt with matcha powder and chia seeds and then added my homemade granola, mangoes, blueberries, dragon fruit, and some purely Elizabeth granola and kiwi. And yeah, it was very messy, but very good. <gasps> oh my gosh. Of course it's not a Rachel's what I eat in a day if I don't spill everything everywhere. And my sister made these bagel biscuit bite things, so I had some of those with Kite Hill cream cheese. For lunch, I was just very lazy and hungry, and so I just made a quick quesadilla with cheese and chicken, and this didn't really fill me up, so I ended up having two, but I didn't really show it. I just had my lunch and I'm still pretty hungry so I'm gonna just have some rotisserie chicken. When I was younger, my mom always used to get rotisserie chicken with this sweet chili sauce on the side and this is really good with chicken. I don't know what it is but I can just like eat this with chicken. When it's over, I might kiss the sky. Here's my dinner. I have roasted corn, asparagus, spring mix with balsamic vinegar, baked potato, and then some ribs that my mom made. <gasps> Look at the glaze. Wow. I'm also having it with sparkling water. I'm obsessed with sparkling water now. Oh my gosh. Baked sweet potato is the only correct way to eat sweet potatoes. So I didn't have any baked sweet potatoes left, so I had to microwave it and basically I wash it and then I poke it through with a fork and then put it in the microwave for about, I think, 4 minutes and 30 seconds, depending on the size of your potatoes. And then I also microwaved some frozen strawberries, so it's like a mushy thing. Anyway, and then I put almond butter, yogurt in my sweet potato and then mixed in some chia seeds with the microwaved strawberries. Stuffed sweet potatoes are so freaking good. Coffee with almond milk. This time I'm not steaming it because I'm really, really late. I'm bringing my Lara bar. I'm also bringing apples. Hopefully I don't get too hungry later. I got rainbow roll. It looks very, very good. And then what did you get? I got a baked scallop roll. <gasps> That looks so good. It's like, Ooh. it's like saucy. Look how she uses her chopsticks. <laughs> how I write with my pencil. I got a grande cold brew cinnamon almond milk foam. You know what my mom said today? She said I drink way too much caffeine, but here I am mom. Second coffee of the day at Masha's house. She's a little grumpy right now because she just woke up. <laughs> We're making pizza. Best. You want to wash your fruit? I mean, uh, wait, tomatoes are fruit. Taste yeah. test. Pretty good. <gasps> wait, what the frick? <laughs> Damn. <gasps> Did you do that? No, that tastes like all the juice. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. I'm gonna top it with my eyes closed. You get some marinara sauce and then you spread it like this. Here's cheese. There's bell pepper. Damn, cheese is shit. I will like a little bit of flavor. You know what I'm saying? Guys, this might be a little uh, cheesy, but like, I'll love you. <laughs> I get it, cheesy. Yeah, a crusty joke. You know what? You got a big pizza in my mind. How sexy that looks. Wait, wait, wait. It's like sizzling. He's like, what's wrong? But it's bomb though. I'm eating a chamoy popsicle. It's very good. Like this before, it's just, I had something on my pizza and it tasted so good. I was like, I could
For breakfast, I wanted scrambled eggs, and so I chopped up some zucchini, mushroom, bell peppers, and broccoli. And then I mixed in two eggs with a little bit of almond milk, salt, pepper, and basil. And then once the veggies were pretty much all cooked, I added in the eggs. And once the eggs were almost cooked, I added in the spinach because spinach cooks very fast. I topped it with sriracha and also had a plum on the side. There's a new flavor today. It just came out and we got it. How do you like your acai? It's pretty good. She she filled it up pretty well. I know. The girl was not stingy today. She was nice. Since my smoothie is going to be green and I have a green teamy cup, I thought it would be clever if I wore a green shirt. Tell me I'm clever. Just call me clever so I don't feel stupid for thinking that I'm clever. Basically, if you're going to make a green smoothie, you can't have berries in there because it's going to look ugly. I mean, unless you don't care about the color. So here's a little trick I learned. When you're making a smoothie with vegetables and stuff, you wanna blend the liquid and your veggies in first so that you're less likely to have just like chunks of veggies. So I just put in a handful of my spinach, a good amount of almond milk in there. Are you kidding me? My blender is out of battery. I'm too impatient for this. I'm gonna just move it to the big blender. Timmy actually has like the super greens powder thing where they have matcha, spinach, and then other very, very healthy ingredients. So if you wanna get this greens powder thing, you can skip the spinach step. I'm putting some frozen bananas in there and then I'm adding some matcha powder. This is the teeny mango thing. And this is gonna add a little bit of a mango flavor. You know what I'm saying? Add some cinnamon in there. Some chia seeds for extra health benefits, you know. And then protein powder. This is the pea protein in the vanilla flavor and then i'm just gonna blend this up right now bro that's so good it's like very smooth and creamy because of the banana i think i got pokey for dinner i freaking love pokey so i have tuna salmon shrimp and then like literally all the veggies that they had with half brown rice, half spring mix, and then house sauce and sesame, I think. If you watched till the end of the video, I love and appreciate you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>